Hi friends, welcome to Oracle SQL and PL SQL channel. So this is the place to learn SQL and PL SQL in an easy way, and uh, you'll be explaining how efficiently you can learn SQL and PL SQL in a very short time. So before going to the concepts of SQL and PL SQL, I would like to tell you the differences between SQL and PL SQL, and what is a SQL and what is a PL SQL, and why we are going for these languages. So I will be telling you all these things in this first video. So if you see this diagram, in market we have so many databases like Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, Microsoft, SQL Server, MySQL, MySQL is a database, likewise Oracle is a database, DB2 is a database, SQL Server is a database, SQL Server can also be called as Microsoft SQL Server, so that is MS SQL Server. So likewise we have so many databases in the market. So if you take SQL and PL SQL, these two are the languages that is the, those are used to talk with the database. So if you take SQL, it is a it is a structured query language. SQL stands for structured query language. It is used to talk with any type of database in the market. For example, if you see here in this diagram, you can use SQL in Oracle, DB2, SQL Server and, and so on. Whatever the databases we have in the market, in each and every database. SQL can be used okay by using this SQL you can operate anything in any kind of database but whereas PL SQL PL SQL can be used in only Oracle database because Oracle is the one who invented PL SQL to enhance the features of SQL so this is the differences between what is the databases and what is the uh, languages we have here so SQL is a language and also PL SQL is a language and Oracle DB2 SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server MySQL and so on are the different type of databases that we have in the market so sql can be used in any da any database but pl sql can be only used in oracle database so before going to the concepts of sql and pl sql sql stands for structure query language and pl sql stands for procedural language i will tell you the main differences between these two languages so that it would be easy for you to understand the main concepts of both the programming languages so uh, here i have segregated few major differences between SQL and PL SQL if you see this diagram it is very easy to understand I have just given as a single and short short lines so the first difference is that SQL is a structured query language and whereas PL SQL is a programming language or procedural language like uh, how we have Java C C++ in the same way we will be having PL SQL in databases so the another difference is like you know uh, in SQL for use to talk with database we use DDL, DML, TCL and DCL statements we have four type of statements in SQL so one is DDL another one is DML and other two is TCL and DCL so DDL stands for da data definition language and DML stands for data manipulation language TCL stands for transactional control language and DCL uh, stands for data control language so these are the four different statements that we have in SQL under again under these four SQL statements we have different statements that I will be explaining in future so uh, by using all these statements we can talk to the any kind of databases by using SQL whereas in PL SQL we will be having procedures functions packages triggers and so many sub programs so by using the sub programs everything can be achieved in PL SQL so this is another difference and the main difference and other main difference is uh, SQL can be executed at a time that means one statement can be executed at a time like uh, we will be having so many SQL queries like uh, create statement and then insert statement so here in SQL whenever you use SQL one statement at a time can be executed whereas in PL SQL the block of statements that means the block of code can be executed at a time that means the PL SQL code cannot be embedded into SQL but the SQL code can be embedded into PL SQL so this is the main difference between uh, SQL and PL SQL and one more thing is like you know uh, we will be having sub programs in PL SQL like uh, the sub programs in the sense procedures packages and functions all these can be called as sub programs in PL SQL but whereas in SQL we don't have all these kind of things to have procedural language so that's the reason we have called it as structural query language so I would like to end up this session thank you friends thank you for watching this video thank you